There are more signs that show Pyongyang and Moscow forging closer ties from military to economic and cultural cooperation and to the political sector. Just last week, 100 Russian tourists visited Pyongyang on a ski trip. And North Korea recently sent a political delegation to visit Russia. Our North Korean affairs correspondent Kim jong shil reports. North Korea has opened its arms to tourists from Russia. According to a Facebook post by the Russian embassy in Pyongyang, 100 Russian tourists arrived in the North's capital on February 9th. The embassy said this was the first visit after North Korea opened its borders following a four-year closure due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The tourists included representatives of the tourism industry and media and travelers from all over Russia, from Kaliningrad to Vladivostok. It added the tourists will stay in the north for four days and get acquainted with key attractions in Pyongyang while visiting the Mashingmyong ski resort, known as one of the most modern major ski resorts the region built. The recent hype in Pyongyang-Moscow exchanges hasn't stopped there. On Monday, a delegation of the regime's ruling party officials left Pyongyang to visit Russia. North Korea's official newspaper Rodong Shinmun reported Tuesday that the delegation is on the trip at the invitation of Russia's ruling United Russia Party. The delegation plans to attend an international inter-party forum organized by the Russian Party. A senior official at South Korea's Unification Ministry told reporters on Tuesday the government has no comment on ordinary interactions between Pyongyang and Moscow, but added that any illegal interactions such as arms transfers or labor dispatches will need to stop as they violate the UN Security Council resolutions. Moscow and Pyongyang have been strengthening ties ever since North Korean leader Kim Jong-un made a rare overseas trip to meet Russian President Vladimir Putin last September. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.